Every camping, hiking, and fishing adventure we go on starts with our Kemp bus, our Nissan NV3500 passenger. And when I needed more capacity to not only pull our boat, but also take our bikes along as well, I commissioned my buddy Evan England to build me a front hitch for my Nissan. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. On this episode, we are going to put a front hitch on the Kemp bus. I'm here with my buddy Evan England. He is a metal fabricator extraordinaire, and so he is going to be the one who's building my hitch. Evan, uh, you want to say anything about the project? or? Yeah, I mean, I do a little bit of everything. Um, I like doing uh, custom welding jobs, aluminum, metal fab can do all those things um, my main deal is uh, old cars classic cars I do a little marine fabrication as well uh, you can see some of my work at Evan England on Instagram and I thought that I'd help Kevin out because I'm an outdoorsman as well and it seemed like a fun project to put this on his Nissan van so yeah, so Evan did an amazing job guys I'm gonna show you the build and then we're gonna show you the final product at the end it is awesome guys it's everything i wanted it to be it's going to be a great uh mount for a bike rack or a fishing rod holder we've been talking about doing things like uh, making a place to, to mount a grill for the campsite or, or, or other types of things so we're gonna we're gonna keep brainstorming and maybe add to this project as we go but if you have a nissan nv you need a hitch like this if you're in if you're in the hillsborough county greater tampa bay area pasco uh, Pinellas and you need uh, some work done definitely check out Evan on Instagram I'm gonna put a link down in the description below and you can probably send him a direct message and, and ask him uh, uh, What his price might be on whatever project you have, but uh, I'm super thrilled with what's going on Can't wait to show it to you guys. Thanks for watching I think the So the first thing we did when building this hitch was take two of the 18 inch long receiver tubes we bought at Harbor Freight tools and we're cutting those to make them fit to replace the tow hooks on the Nissan NV. So we had to shorten it up a little bit and now we're cutting it at an angle in order to drill for the bolt holes to line up. We're going to use the stock bolts from the tow hooks. So as you can see we're using a plasma cutter to make the cuts. Makes everything nice and clean and easy. And of course we have to do this twice. By cutting it at an angle like this, it makes it a whole lot easier to mount because you have easy access to the bolts that mount to the frame. And we knock off the piece, and it's ready for the, the grinder to get cleaned up. So we just use a grinder to clean up the burrs that are created by the plasma cutter. And then once we get it ground down so that it's nice and smooth, it's ready for paint. The next thing we have to do is trim the bumper bracket. So in order for those Reese receivers to mount flush to the frame, you have to trim the bumper bracket. As we were in there cutting that, you have to do it on both sides. Otherwise, the receiver won't sit flush and it won't be level.
even though you have to trim the bumper bracket, there's still plenty of metal to hold the bumper on, so you're not weakening the bumper at all. It's just a little trim. And of course, once you get this cut, you'll want to hit it with some paint so that you don't have exposed metal to protect from rust. And then you're ready to mount the two inch receiver. And here they are mounted on the van. So the next step is to cut the square tubing to build the hitch. There are four pieces, uh, two pieces that will go into the hitches that are on the van and two uh, pieces that will go from the center hitch piece to those uh, support pieces. So these are the pieces that go in the hitch receivers on the van. And what we're doing is we're cutting it to build the end caps. We didn't want to leave the tubes hollow, so we cut them to leave a flap that we will hammer over and then weld into place. And again, we're making two of these, one for each hitch. And there you can see we're hammering the cap in place. And then it'll need to be ground and welded. And here we're drilling the hole for the hitch pin. And again, we'll do that twice. So now it's time to mount the center hitch receiver in place. So the first thing we did was we took a 12 inch hitch receiver from Harbor Freight and we trimmed it down. And then we used a floor jack to mock it into place and take some measurements. So you can see the support pieces are in the hitch receivers. And now you can see us mocking the center receiver in place and tack welding to check for fit. Once we had everything where we wanted it, it was time to weld it up. Here's Evan welding the hitch. We were really pleased with the way this turned out. And once Evan got done welding it, it was time for paint. So we sprayed it with a, a quick drying spray paint in black. And we were all done. So guys, I really love this design. Replacing the tow hooks with Reese receivers is a great way to give you a front hitch mount that you can take on and off. When it's off, it doesn't interfere with the sensors that tell me whether or not I'm getting close to something. But when the hitch is on the van, I do have to turn the sensors off. That's okay though, because if I have the hitch on, I typically have bikes on the front of the van or, or something like that. Speaking of bike racks, I am going to show you guys how we modified our bike rack on a future video so that we could put it on the front of the van. So stay tuned for that. 
hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos so you don't miss it. So guys, I am going to show you the hitch now. Check it out. So here it is all done. I'm super pleased with how it turned out, as you can see. I used the Max Hall anti-rattle stabilizers to keep it from moving, and I use Keta-like locks to mount it to the van. It's very easy to take on and off, and I couldn't ask for a better hitch. It was really well done. Thanks, Evan. So guys, as you can see, I love this front hitch. It is awesome. I want to give a shout out to the folks on the Envy Family's Facebook page. That's where I first saw this design. This isn't an original design by Evan or myself. Uh, someone shared photos and I took that, those photos to Evan and I said, hey man, can you build this? And he said, yeah. So definitely a shout out to that group. If you have a Nissan NV and you're not on the Nissan NV Families page or the NV Crew page on Facebook, definitely join those groups because there's a lot of good information there on Nissan NVs. I love this van, guys. If you haven't seen it, check out my Nissan NV review video. I'm going to put that right up here and you can check that out. And uh, guys, we use this van all the time. It is a fantastic puller of pontoon fish and a fantastic road trip vehicle for us and our family. So guys, check out Evan on Instagram. I'm going to put a link down in the description below. As I said, he does fantastic work. If you are in the greater Tampa Bay area and you need some work done, you know, hit him up on, on Instagram and see if uh, he can't do some work for you. He is amazing. I would definitely recommend him for anything that you need there. And guys, just uh, if you're not in the area and you want a hitch like this, go find yourself a metal fabricator. There's plenty of people out there who can build something just like this, and uh, you, uh, you'll you definitely be pleased. So, guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. Kemp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. So if you are a mom or a dad that's new to this whole outside thing, we'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below. Any question that you have about how to get your kids outside, we'd love to hear from you and help you out. Or you can hit us up on other uh, social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links to those are down in the description below. We release new videos on YouTube every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Our Monday and Tuesday videos are focused on campground and campsite reviews. And our Thursday videos are on a whole wide variety of things from uh, how-to videos, tips and tricks, gear reviews, and uh, a whole lot more stuff on camping, hiking, fishing, or road trip vehicles like the Nissan NV. So guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe. We'll see you next time on Camp Outside.